Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to um, the Health Technology Workshop at Dr. Kearney's Cardiology Clinic. Uh, my name is Sonia. I'm a third year student at McMaster University, and I'm joined here today by Nicholas, Frank, and Stephanie. And today we'll be talking about how to access your lab results online through the LifeLab platform. So just some table of contents. So we'll first start off by introducing what Life Labs is, and then we'll go into how to set up your account and check your results. And following that, we'll discuss how to book appointments, and then finally, how to prepare uh, for a test and checking in online. Uh, so Life Labs is a um, Canadian-owned company that has been serving the healthcare needs of Canadians for more than 50 years. Uh, each year, they perform over 112 million laboratory tests to help diagnose, treat, and monitor and prevent disease amongst Canadians. Uh, some of the tests and services they offer include general diagnostic testing, genetic testing, naturopathic tests, and heart monitoring. So to find a location, for Life Labs, um, first you're going to go to www.lifelabs.com. Um, once you're there, um, you'll get a picture similar to what you see at the top of the screen. Um, this is a screenshot from uh, the Life Labs homepage. At near the top left, but um, slightly to the right of the Life Labs logo, you'll see a button labeled "Find a Location," and you will be clicking on this button. After that, you'll be taken to a page that looks like the page on the right. Um, where you'll be able to enter your uh, home address, city, or postal code in the search bar. Um, what, once you um, have entered this information, you'll be able to click Find, which is highlighted by the magnifying gl glass icon to the right of the search bar, and you'll be able to find a location close to you. You can also click the checkboxes above if you have a specific preference for what you want a location to offer. Um, after you click Find, um, the website will show you a map with nearby locations highlighted and you can click on those to find their address. All right, so now we're gonna go into account registration and then afterwards, how to access your results once you've registered for your account. So uh, the first step is that we're gonna go to this website here. It's www.lifelabs.com. It'll just take you to uh, the site's homepage. And then from there, once you're at the actual site, you can click on see my results. And then from there, you can click on to register now so that you can register for an account. They might ask you to um, like input your, prov your province, um, in which case just do so. Uh, and then from there, you'll be at this page and then you can click create an account. And then you will be taken to the account profile page. So you just have to enter your data uh, so on the next slide, you can see that you have to enter your email, um, a password of your choice, your name, address, phone number, and your date of birth. And then from there, you can just click on next. And then afterwards, you have to create a couple of security questions. Um, if you ever want to like get back in your account with some security. Um, so you can select whatever you want and you can even create um, your own customized security question, so like we have in the next slide. And then from there, you have to create a little security phrase for email messages, just do whatever you want, something easy that you'll remember, and then you can click on next. Afterwards, you'll be taken to the terms of use pages, so just make sure you read through everything you find necessary, and then after that, you can click I accept to this, and then you can agree to receiving any email notifications um, like about your appointments or about participating in surveys if you want to. And then afterwards, you have to verify that you're not a robot, so just click the check. And after that, you can click create an account. So after you've created your account, you'll have to go to your own email uh, just to verify that it is in fact your email. And then you can click their link and it'll take you to the login page where you can log in again. And then in order to complete your registration, uh, you can click my account, account settings, and then click add or remove account registrations, click add another person, select me or yourself, 
uh, and then enter and save any of your last labs visit info. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have any screenshots for those, so you're just going to have to look at the presentation slides and follow along as best as you can. Um, but on the next slide, we do note that your information that you enter has to exactly match the information that is on your file with the lab. So that includes any personal information or really just anything that is on their file. Um, so yeah, and then again, if you have any more questions, you can go to the, their FAQ that's in that link below, or you can also contact their, um, their customer call service, for which the number is right there, for Ontario at least. And then after that, you can go back to their website whenever you want to access the, your account, log in, and then you'll be taken to the home page, of course, and then you can click see my results and you'll be taken to your results. So moving on on how to book your appointment, it's very simple and it's very much like the other two uh, processes that we just talked about. So the general um, five steps that you're going to be following is you first go to lifelabs.com, you press book of appointment, you're using the account that you've just made, and then you press the button book an appointment and find the location near you and follow the instructions. So first, uh, when you go to the Life Labs website, you can just press the book an appointment button and that'll lead you to the next page. Where you can see three options where you can either press book an appointment, register or manage appointments. If you go to register, uh, that will take you to the register screen that Stephanie just talked about. Um, and if you press manage appointments, you'll see a list of the current appointments that you have. If you press book an appointment, what you'll see is you'll see a screen similar to this, uh, very much like what Nicholas had, uh, where you're going to be finding a location near you. And uh, there are some other options that you can do uh, check off just in case that you need some of these options as well. And then you have your map and you can choose whatever option is most convenient to you. Uh, and you can press that button uh, the book appointment button and that'll lead you to the next page. Uh, you can also view some location details, uh, just contact information, uh, clinic opening times, etc. And that'll lead you to the My Results external booking pit system uh, where there are some special tests that you should be noted uh, that you should note can only be booked by phone. Um, and also there are some instructions that all patients should follow to get accurate tests. And once you finish those reading through those instructions, you can then go to the date and time where you can pick a date where there's a green check mark and that means that there is an available booking slot for you there and you can choose whichever time works for you the best. Next, you, you can go to your account. Um, you can either, you will be prompted here to either sign into your account or register for an account. In this case, to register for account, it's very much like what uh, Stephanie talked about where you just input a lot of your information here uh, and then you press uh, sign in and do the, the email verification and that will link you back here where you can confirm to your last step. So after email confirmation, um, there should be a link in your email. You press that link and it'll take you there, which will get you to the confirm page and you can confirm your appointment and that's it. And the last thing we'll be talking about is how to prepare for your appointment and the checking in process. So in terms of what to bring, they require that you bring your requisition form. So this will be something that Dr. Kernu or your other healthcare providers would have uh, given to you. Um, and so you want to maybe complete the personal information section in advance in order to kind of reduce that wait time when you get there. The next thing is your valid health card. Um, so most of the routine, routine tests are covered under the provincial health insurance plan, but they do need the health card to verify that. and. Um, in the case that they're not covered, you will be required to pay um, at the Life Labs when you're there. And the final thing is just another piece of identification. So at the Life Labs, you'll be asked twice to confirm your health insurance card, your full name, date of birth, as well as your address. 
And moving on to the checking in system. So Life Labs has implemented a program called Save My Spot, which is very convenient and allows you to book online and really helps to save time so that you don't have to spend more time at the Life Labs building waiting for your appointment. So to start off, you want to go on the Life Labs website as we've shown previously, and you're gonna click check in online, which is at the very top on the home page. And once you've clicked check in, you'll um, be able to type in your postal code, your city or your province to uh, find a location that's near you. And you can go ahead and choose the location that you want. So you'll see an example here with a map that shows all the locations near whichever uh, one that you have entered in. And you'll see two buttons. One says book appointment, which is uh, what Frank just talked about earlier, and then the other is on Save My Spot. So if you wanted to just check in, you can click the Save My Spot button in your uh, preferred location. And what this does is it takes you to a page where you can fill in your personal information, and it also lets you know the estimated wait time um, at that specific moment. So right now it's at zero minutes, but obviously it might be a lot more than that. And so once you're done, you just simply click Check In at the bottom. And that's about it. So that is how essentially you go on to Life Labs, make an account and uh, book appointments. So we hope that was helpful in um, assisting you with managing your blood work and in navigating the platforms online. We know it can be pretty tricky to do so. So feel free to refer back to this video, um, pause, play, rewind to figure out how to go about it. And if you ever need any help, uh, don't hesitate to connect with us. You can join our Facebook group online where we post a lot of these videos and tips. Um, and you can email us with any questions you have at the email on the slide. Thank you.